Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got another best of 2017 video for you today and it's all about lips. So I've got a lot of lip products here. I really couldn't whittle this down. I'm, I'm so weak. So I have some lipsticks, some liquid lipsticks, lip liners, and lip glosses. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. So if you're interested in seeing what I really loved over 2017, then just keep on watching. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Happy 2018 to everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and let's get into my favorite lips of 2017. So <laughs> I feel like I feel like this year was pretty much dominated by Pat McGrath. Um, but a lot of her lip products came out in the latter half of this year. So I feel like it's like pre Pat McGrath and then post Pat McGrath and it was just it was so difficult for me to see beyond the Pat McGrath releases between the matte trans the luxe trans and the liquid lust uh, kit uh, so anyway let's uh, let's start with some lipsticks and I will mention all the non Pat McGrath stuff first so the first one is the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collaboration the color Victoria this is a matte lipstick and I think this is just such a perfect perfect matte nude color and I believe this is probably sold out at this point so I apologize but this was limited edition um, but it's just a great nude there's like a, a bit of a cool undertone there but there's still a little bit of peachy pinkiness it is a really great color so this is the Victoria Beckham um, Victoria matte lipstick color. What I was also loving way in the beginning of 2017 are the Hourglass Femme Stilos and I think these were like a huge hit when they came out and then all of a sudden no one was talking about them anymore. I mean I think that happens often unfortunately there's so many releases that come out so often that like things get forgotten and you know pushed to the wayside but I was going through my collection and I was like oh my god I loved these I'm a, kind of a sucker for this shape for like the fat crayon shape and they had a huge huge color range so this is a colorway achiever and it's pretty close to Victoria but as you can tell it's still not exactly the same it is a little bit uh, brighter if you will but the formula of these were really nice they were super soft while they didn't stay on all day because they were kind of moisturizing and and again like really like a soft creamy formula they just were really comfortable i liked throwing this in my bag and kind of reapplying it during the day um and i have a whole bunch of different colors but i really liked achiever and then all the other lipsticks i have are pat mcgrath luxe trance lipsticks so i'll run through these quickly because I think you have probably heard me talk about these five gazillion times. So the first one is Donatella. This is a color that is like a very nude pink color and it's just like a great everyday nude. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit uh, pinkier than the rest of these and I love kind of um, matching it up with Madame Grige which is a super cool almost lilac gray color and this is a pretty dramatic color on me it makes me look really almost dead which i don't mind but paired with donatella it's really really pretty and then next is realness this one i also really love this is like a really kind of beautiful pinky peach color a great kind of everyday look and then last but not least, this one I probably have used the most. But this one is Attitude. And this one is a great kind of brown, deep nude color with a bit of red in there. It's very warm, very, very pretty. It was like perfect fall color. So those are the four Lux Trance lipsticks that kind of stood out to me. I love, I really, I love them all. But these are the ones that I probably reach for the most. So those were all the uh, lipsticks that I loved last year. Um, let's move into um, some other formulas. So this Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the color 202. Um, this was kind of like a second half of 2017 find. I just love it. It is like this cream uh, formula and it doesn't dry down completely. It doesn't set completely, but it's just a gorgeous, again, a gorgeous everyday shade and it's so comfortable and um, the formula is so interesting because it's not matte it's just really velvety it's like this creamy velvety 
uh, moussey kind of texture. So it's super comfortable. Um, it has like just a very, very natural look. It's like a your lips but better kind of look. I just love it. So that's the um, Armani Lip Maestro in 202. So next I have um, like a sheer lipstick and this is the Surratt Lip Slick in Club Sept. This is like a really nude sheer color and I just love how easy these products are, the Lip Slick line. You just kind of throw them on. Um, you can apply them like messy. You don't need a mirror. They're just a great kind of in your purse kind of product. Absolutely love it. Club Seft is probably the most uh, nude brownie color in the line. So I love that. And then I have uh, one of the Pat McGrath liquid lipsticks. This came in the Liquid Lust um, set and I got um, the big set that had all six colors and the two glosses or whatever so this is the color Slay Omi this comes in like the nude set and I love it it's what I have on my lips today I absolutely love it I am NOT a liquid lipstick fan but I love this formula it doesn't dry down completely but it's so super comfortable like I don't feel it on my lips at all I don't have like a lip primer down or anything in fact I didn't even put any lip balm down I just threw this right on and it's just great it's like a wonderful like cinnamony color I think it's really unique so that's the Slay Omi I don't know why I swatched it because it's on my lips you can see it but anyway <laughs> That's what it looks like on my arm. And this is a good time to segue into glosses because I have one of the Liquid Lust uh, glosses on. This is the Bronze Astral Vinyl Gloss. I love these. So I have a little bit of that on and it really um, gives your lips that kind of like vinyl look. I just, I just love them. So this is the bronze uh, colorway and this is the gold colorway. And they both have like a pinky uh, shift to them. So when you put them on your lips, it's just this really beautiful vinyl sheen that you get going on. It's just really pretty. And then for other glosses, the two that really stood out, I have some others to mention, but the two that really stood out is the Fenty Beauty uh, gloss. This is, I forget the name, it had a really long name, um, but it's like the Gloss Bomb Fenty Glow, blah, blah, blah. Um, I love this. This is great. It smells fruity. It is really kind of universal. I feel like I've seen this on so many different YouTube channels. People mention how much they love it and they all have different skin tones, different, um, you know, they have warm tones, cool tones, um, different, different ethnicities, and it all seems to work for them. So um, I love it for that reason and I also love it because I think it looks great. I think it's just a really beautiful, natural kind of gloss. It just really makes your lips look, you know, really healthy and, and plump and juicy and all those things you want a gloss to do. So uh, the Fenty Beauty I loved. And I almost forgot about this one, but I love this gloss. This is the Desi and Katie collab with Dose of Colors and this is the Over the Top lip gloss. I love this one. So this is like definitely more va va boom than this one this has a much more <laughs> greasy like you just ate something really really fatty like ribs like you just chomped down on like a whole rack of ribs that's what this gloss looks like and i love that i love like a really glossy lip it looks really glittery in the tube it doesn't come off quite as glittery on the lip it is um just yeah just definitely i mean you definitely see it but it's not just like this glitter bomb on your lips it really just leaves more of like a greasy sheen to your lips which i love and i also love this lip gloss this is again part of the victoria beckham estee lauder collab um this is the lip gloss in desert heat um again limited edition so I don't think this is available but this is like the perfect nude gloss it has just enough pigment it's a little bit sticky but not too sticky it's just great it's a nice gloss to kind of throw on it's definitely a little bit more opaque than the other two that I just mentioned especially the dose of colors that really has no color whatsoever this to me is like the great like staple gloss the everyday nude color staple gloss and the other gloss that I really really love is the Surratt Lip Luster in Ton, T-O-N. And this one is interesting because it looks like dark as hell in the tube, but it is not at all. It is very, very sheer. And all it really does is kind of cool off any other um, kind of color. Why am I swatching there? <laughs> oh my God, let me swatch here. This is the Ton Lip Gloss. So there's the Ton lip gloss. You know, you can definitely see 
the dark, dark, dark purple, cool purple tone in there, but when you put it over something else, it just cools it down. And I just, I really like that. And I like wearing this over that combo of Donatella and Madame Grige uh, Lux Trance lipsticks. It's a really cool combination. I think that ended up either in my November or October favorites. Anyway, it's just it's just really awesome. And I just sort of like seeing this in my lip gloss drawer. It's just a really unique looking tube of lip gloss. I love how dark it is. It's just really cool. So yeah, so I've been loving this. And then last but not least, we have some lip liners. And again, dominated by Pat McGrath. I bought almost all of them. And the two that I reach for probably the most is Contour, which is this shade here. Let me swatch that. This is not a good swatch area. That is Contour. It's a warm uh, nude color. It's uh, it's just a great lip liner. If you kind of want to like overline your lips a little bit, it's great for that. Um, and probably why it's called Contour. And then this one is super natural. This is a really... Um, pretty shade. It's darker and it's a little bit cooler. So this is great if you want just a little bit more drama. The contour, as you can see, is a little bit lighter than the Supernatural, um, but they're kind of like in the same color family. So I've been reaching for these two pretty much all fall. <laughs> Um, but earlier in the year, what stood out to me the most is the Kevin O'Quan Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in Medium. So that is this, whoop, um, it's this shade right here. And it's a little bit cooler than contour, but it's very, very similar. On my lips, it, do, it definitely comes off cooler. It definitely comes off like it has a little bit of like a gray, pinky undertone to it. Um, where the contour and the supernatural both are a little bit warmer. I love this lip pencil, and in fact, I need to kind of whip this out again. <laughs> Even though my life has been dominated by Pat McGrath. All right, so those are all of my favorite lip products from this past year. Definitely let me know down below what your favorite products were for this past year. I would love to hear what you guys have been obsessing over. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next video.